Hello, Pahutukawa class. Today we're gonna learn how to make a six pointed star uh, from a hexagon. Hexa comes from the Greek six. Um, so, the first thing you need to create is your hexagon, as you can see mine here. So, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So to create your hexagon, first well, I did mine of three centimeters on each side. So you're gonna measure three centimeters here and you're gonna go to the bottom, uh, more or less. You can move this line as you wish later on and draw another three centimeters. So make sure that they are parallel. And then from here on, is this three centimeters? Yeah, from here on, you're gonna Draw another line of three centimeters. Don't worry about the angle for now. Yeah. And then here, three centimeters connecting the two ends. So see here, there are a few millimeters off. So what I can do, I can move my ruler to make it fit. So three centimeters. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's a little bit clunky. I'm gonna start again. Okay, here we go, lovely. And then three centimeters on each on this side. Probably here, yeah. And then three centimeters on this side. Nice. So this is how you create your hexagon. Okay, so what we are gonna do next, we are gonna extend the sides of the hexagon clockwise. So starting by this one, I extended mine one centimeter. So one centimeter here and then clockwise. The next one is this one centimeter here and then one centimeter here and then one centimeter here. And here, and then here, and that's it. Okay, so now we are gonna turn and draw a horizontal line. So we have extended this side, remember always clockwise, yeah? Now we're gonna draw a horizontal line. Don't worry too much about the length of this one. Um, you just have to you just have to make sure that it's symmetrical and parallel to um, the one here. So that's why I put my ruler like this and not like this because if I if I put it over the the line, I have no idea whether I'm gonna draw a parallel line. So I'm just gonna make sure that I draw a nice parallel line up to there, more or less. Now remember clockwise, meaning that next we are going to make a turn here to here. Yeah. Now this one. It gets confusing, but once you get where you're going, um, it all makes sense. Yeah. Just make sure that you turn with all the lines you have extended. That's the idea. And last one here. Okay. So this is what you should have by now. Next, we are going to connect. See that we were working on this one first. Yeah. So we extended it. We turn. And now we're going to join this one with this one. So you just have to look with for the... Um, the lines that you can connect together in this way. So I'm going to connect these two together and I'm going to stop when I see a line. Yeah, you just stop there. Now I have a little bit left over here. That's okay. I'll just erase it. There you go. As simple as that. Now I'm going to look for other pair of lines working clockwise that I can connect. So this one here. So we are turning co corners now. Yeah, there we go. Then this one seems like other two that I can connect. So we are looking for the points 
in the start. So see, I, I see another one here. I have a little bit left here. And remember to stop when you see a line. Now, oh, there is another one here, look. Okay. And another one here. I'm missing some length here. That's okay. I can fix it. We can always fix things. That's the beauty of working with a pencil. Yeah. Now my star is not finished and I'm going to show you what to do next. So by now you should have six points, six triangles. So this is what we're going to do next. The lines that we extended at first. So go back to your original hexagon. Yeah. So we started extending this line first. We're going to extend it even further further. Yep. The same one here. And then I did this one. Remember always work clockwise. And the same one. No, this one is always done here. And then this one here. And that's it. Yeah. So all I have to do now is connect these ends to the lines already drawn. So remember to stop when you see a line. So do not draw over a line that is already drawn. And this one here. So this star is known as the six pointed star or the star of David. I think uh, some of you will know it like that. Okay. Oh, and there's one missing here. Good thing is that when once you get closer to the end, you start making sense of it all and you can fix whatever you've done wrong. So basically you have two triangles as if they were interlaced. Um, see, this one is going like this and this one is going like this. And if you see any weird lines, you can just erase and draw over. Have fun.